Welcome to this demonstration of the Conexus Rheometer. My name is Philip Rolf and I'm one of the specialists in Burlington, Massachusetts in the USA. And so uh, the agenda here is that we're going to have a quick overview of the Conexus and the main accessories for it. And then we're going to run a sample in three simple steps. So that's loading, running the measurement, exporting the data, and then unloading and saving the results. So hopefully this will be very quick. And one thing I want you to remember is the Conexus is designed to give you more rheology with less effort. So with the Conexus, they designed it after a good market survey and people asked that they wanted to have active guidance from start to finish. They asked if it could give you help with the instrument setup and sample loading and then measurement and the analysis automatically. And so we built some intelligence into the software so that you can click through the test with easy one-click operations and therefore you should get better reproducibility between different users. The instrument is also designed to give you complete flexibility of control. So if you want to do some esoteric testing, you can actually have control of the motor system with torque, speed or position, the gap and normal force and the temperature. So you can actually combine these together in any way you like and it gives you complete flexibility to be able to simulate different processes and things like that. So hopefully you'll be able to meet your needs with the Conexus now and in the future. The chuck is also redefined. And so we have um, a simple chuck that you just push the geometry up into and it clicks down and clips onto it. It has an automatic geometry recognition. So it identifies what you put in there. All the constants and calibrations are uploaded into the instrument. And you can even have defined geometries for specific tests if you want to. So this is a very easy instrument to work with. Even the environmental controllers, the temperature control is a plug and play. And when you put them in, it connects all of the electrical and fluid connections all in one go. And this is auto configuration. The calibration is stored inside each cartridge to give you a consistent, repeatable and accurate result. So let's have a quick look at the cartridges. We have a Peltier plate controller, which goes from minus 15 to 200 or minus 40 if you want a chiller bath on it. This can accommodate different disposable plates and also a solvent trap. And you, have, you can change the lower plate so that you can have matching upper and lower diameters if you'd like. These are easy to remove with this slide lock on the right hand side here to be able to switch them out if you want to. We also have an active hood temperature controller which is similar but it heats from the top down as well as from the bottom up. And so it gives you um, the same temperature range, but with very, very good low temperature gradients across the sample. So we have the heaters in the top and the bottom. And so there's a low thermal mass for rapid heat transfer an inert gas inlet if you want to purge it with nitrogen or argon or something. And you see here the resolution, stability and gradients are very, very small as we are warming the geometry shaft with these covers. And this is all computer modeled. We have a high temperature cartridge, which is useful for things like polymer melts or curing samples. And therefore we also have disposable plates available for this, as you see at the bottom here. And it can heat and also cool with a forced gas cooling. Temperature goes up to 350 degrees C now. And um, there's also interchangeable lower plates as standard for this. And lastly, the Peltier cylinder controller, which goes from minus five to 200 degrees C. Or if you want to get to minus 30, you can put a chiller bath on it. And so it has a, a very fast temperature control with twin Peltiers, and this would accommodate all of your cup and bobs and things like that. Let's have a quick look at the instrument with, um, with its usability and the, and the plug and play cartridges, which you'll think you'll see are very easy to use. So here I am clipping in a C25 bob. It's recognized it in the software you see on the screen there. I'm putting the cup in and uh, now it wants to zero the gap. And as it zeroes the gap, it's looking for a normal force of one kilogram. When it touches, it's going to back off until it's only just touching, then it will go up. And we see here the gap being registered at the bottom of the screen automatically now. As you take those out, you see it's got red X's on. I'm putting in a lower plate insert to turn my Peltier cylinder into Peltier plate. And it's recognized those geometries. It's offering to zero the gap. I'm just going to take it out now. 
and eject the whole cartridge to show you the modularity of the instrument. You see I'm taking out the Peltier cylinder and there's our fluid connections on the back and also the electrical connections which hook up automatically. So you can't really do this wrong. You just put the cartridge in and turn the handle and it inserts it accurately and you see here at the bottom of the screen it's actually automatically now recognized and it's controlling the temperature accurately. So very easy with this auto recognition and plug and play geometries. These are some of the Conexus accessories. You see there's a wide range of them including a microscope there at the bottom of the screen as you're seeing a sample as it's being sheared. Um, I'm now going to run a sample and you can see uh, loading, selecting the measurement and unloading and then saving the data. So here we go. So I'm going to click load sample and the software is seeing it's got a 4 degree 40 cone. I'm going to type in the name of the sample which is hand cream. I'm going to measure a Jurgen's hand cream and uh, click next. It's asking me to open the hood. It's obviously open already. It tells me what volume to put on there and so I'm going to put on 1.19 mils or maybe more and then say next. So when it prompts you, you can click on the front of the instrument or on the software. And I'm trimming off the excess sample. I put on too much and taking off the spare there with the spatula. Obviously, if you put the right volume on, you don't need to do this. If you put it on with a syringe or something. And now I'm clicking next and it will prompt me to close the hood. So if I wasn't sure when, now is the right time to close. And now I just need to go in to run a test. So I'm clicking yield stress test. And I want to do it at 25, maybe 0 to 50 pascals. So I type in my stress range I want. And uh, the test proceeds. I can see the temperature is about 25 degrees C. And so if I watch, you see the live data being accumulated here. And, um, and I click on the final results and you'll see the final results being accumulated. Let's speed this up a little. And so the material is being stressed. And when it gives you a peak there, that shows you that it's just starting to flow. So initially it wasn't flowing and then it peaked and then it's going into viscous flow behavior. So that peak there is around 12 pascals. That shows you what the yield stress of my sample is. And it's done an automatic analysis. I'm going to export the data. There's my graph. I'd like to just put it into Excel. So I'm opening up Excel. Just open a new blank workbook, obviously, and then paste it in. If I go back to the software, go to my table of results, say copy to clipboard, then it copies the results out. You click on the cell that you want it to start and paste it, and it goes right into Excel as well, so you can make them the right width, format it, center them up. And there you see there's your graph and your data immediately exported. And now I just need to unload. This is my third step. So I click unload sample. It says open the hood. I'm opening it. And then next to open the gap up, you see there. And now it's asking me to wipe the sample clean. So I'm going to wipe off the upper and lower plates. And then say next, it says, do you want to save the data? So I'll click save and then type in the name. It's actually come up with hand cream and the date and the time. And so I'm done. That's my test from start to finish. And it makes it very simple to use this instrument. So the Conexus Plus series gives you unique hardware features for unmatched ease of use and setup. Standard operating procedure driven tests for the first time on a rheometer interface. It collapses the complete sample history from loading to unloading. We've got vertical testing capabilities to do squeeze flow and pull off and the complete control in the software that allows you maximum flexibility for your testing needs. Thank you for watching.